Hello friends! Looking at some species of the animal world, it's impossible not to be amazed by the imagination and the ingenuity of nature. Some of these animals live in just one part on the earth, others are at the brink of extinction, so we can only see them on the screens of our gadgets. A star-nosed mole is an unusual representation of the mole family that lives in North America. The main difference between the star-nosed mole and the other members of the family is the 22 skin appendages forming a star shape on its face. Its body length reaches up to 20 centimeters and its dense, dark brown fur effectively repels water. It usually feeds on larvae, worms, and insects, but its diet can also include small fish. Due to the underground lifestyle, vision has become a non-vital skill for the star-nosed mole. It mostly relies on the unusual touch organ instead. Vanderbilt University neurobiologist Kenneth Catania has studied star-nosed moles for 25 years and believed them to be the weirdest looking creatures on the planet. For example, their star-shaped growth is the most sensitive touch organ known to modern science. Star-nosed moles are the first mammals known to smell underwater. They use this unique technique when following prey in a swampy area. They blow bubbles into the water and then re-inhale them through the nose. Kenneth Catania and his colleagues have concluded that the bubbles allow the moles to detect their prey's scent. I.I. -I is the only living kind of the Daubentonidae family. Another species, Daubentonia robusta, went extinct about a thousand years ago. This animal is endemic to Madagascar. The I.I.s are the world's largest nocturnal primates. They have some slightly peculiar features, such as teeth that look like continuously growing rodent teeth and long middle fingers with no hair. The I.I.'s unusual, long, and multifunctional middle finger can rotate 360 degrees, allowing the animal to get inside small holes and pull out larvae. The I.I. is also known for its unusual feeding ritual. It taps on trees to find grubs, then makes holes in the wood using its forward slanting incisors. As soon as a small hole appears in the tree, the I.I. inserts its narrow middle finger and pulls the grubs out. The I.I. spend most of their lives high in the trees near the forest canopy. It would seem that dogs have become so familiar that the looks of different breeds could no longer surprise us. We believe, however, that this breed, the Hungarian Sheepdog Commandor, is just too unusual. Specimen of this breed reminds of either a giant mop on four legs or a Rastafarian with dreadlocks, all because of the unique structure of its coat, the length of which can reach up to one meter. The owners of these dogs are spared from the daily brushing, as their coats are simply impossible to brush. They do need to visit the groomer, however, as the cords need to be separated as they grow to prevent matting. The long white fur combines to form tassels, which make the commander look even more majestic. The proboscis monkey, or long-nosed monkey, is a monkey with an unusually large nose. It is only common for males, though, who weigh 16 to 22 kilograms, while females weigh half as much. Proboscis monkeys are endemic to the island of Borneo. They live mainly in the forest near rivers, mangrove trees, bogs, and swamp forests with fresh water. The scientists suggest that this restriction is due to the high level of minerals and salts that exist in these places, which are an important component of proboscis monkeys' diet. They are friendly primates and prefer to live in groups of one male and about eight females in their offspring. Unlike other primate groups that live independently, groups of long-nosed monkeys usually gather along the river banks at nightfall. Another behavioral feature of proboscis monkeys 
that's different from other primates is that the adult females can switch groups several times during their lives. Young males leave the group at the age of one to two years, as soon as they can take care of themselves. At this time, they join the group of single males, consisting of one or two large primates and several young males. Long-nosed monkeys communicate by various vocalizations, including roars, grunts, squeals, and nasal sounds. So why do proboscis monkeys need such a big nose? They are born with a regular nose, and it only becomes huge by the onset of puberty, at about seven years old, which led the scientists to believe that it plays some sort of role in the mating ritual of the primates. The Saiga antelope is one of the world's largest mammals, having shared the earth with saber-toothed tigers and woolly mammoths 250,000 years ago. Although they were thought to be extinct at one time, they are now referred to as living fossils. Saiga is an even-toed ungulate with an unusual nose in the form of a soft, swollen, mobile proboscis with rounded closed nostrils, which creates the effect of a sort of humpback face. Saiga calves grow very quickly and are extremely resilient. They are born in early May in one and the same part of the steppe, where Saigas come back each year. At the age of two to three days, Saiga calves can already eat on their own, and at the age of only two weeks, they already run around almost the same as adults. Three quarters of all Saiga births are twins. Such fertility helped Saigas survive as a species in the past few centuries, when they were hunted ruthlessly as their horns were believed to have magical properties. Saigas form large herds, constantly migrating across the steppes in search of pastures and mild climates. The tremendous endurance of Saigas and their ability to survive on minimum water allows them to travel for up to 100 kilometers per day without rest. Looking at the eastern long-neck turtle, it might seem that a snake climbed through a turtle's shell. The neck is so long that the turtle can't even pull it back into the protective shell. This turtle is found in the lakes of Australia, and its neck can grow almost as long as its carapace. The neck is so long that the turtle has to bend it sideways to hide into the shell rather than pulling it back like other turtles do. The species are called snake neck turtles because their heads and necks resemble a snake. Their hunting method is also similar to that of snakes. They attack the prey by rapidly extending the neck. If the turtle senses danger, it emits an offensive smelling fluid from its musk glands. This fluid can be sprayed for a distance of about one meter and makes the surrounding animals take flight. The eastern long-necked turtle spends most of its life on land. The water deer is an amazing animal and the only species in the Cervidae family. It's a miniature deer. Its body length is about one meter, its height is 45 to 55 centimeters, and it weighs from nine to 15 kilograms. Upon closer look, it reminds us of a vampire due to its curved saber-shaped tusks which reach up to eight centimeters in length. But not to worry, these deer are quite harmless and there are no cases of them attacking people. An adult male water deer is very artful with its tusks. It draws them backwards while eating and thrusts them back out in cases of danger. Deer use their tusks in aggressive encounters to defend their territory. The lifestyle and behavior patterns of these animals are very poorly studied. It's known that deer live alone or in pairs and feed on vegetation, grass, leaves, mushrooms, and young sprouts. Echidna, endemic to Australia and New Guinea, is a unique animal unlike any other creature on Earth. It's a mammal, yet it lays eggs.
Echidna's mouth is so small that it can't grab any food with it, but instead extends its long tongue and food sticks to it. Despite the impressive dimensions, these animals are great swimmers, even long distance. Sharp vision helps Echidna to quickly identify danger, even during nighttime, and hide in crevices. If there aren't any nearby, Echidna will use its strong front legs to dig a hole in the ground very quickly. And if the ground is solid, Echidna will curl into a ball, exposing its entire arsenal of needles. The Emperor Tamarin is a tenacious tailed monkey that lives in the rainforest near the Amazon River. It can be distinguished from other monkeys by its long, white mustache hanging down to its shoulders, making the Tamarin resemble an ancient Chinese philosopher. Emperor Tamarins live in groups of up to 10 monkeys, high in the trees where bigger primates cannot climb. There's a very strict hierarchy in the pack. Each member of the family has a specific role. The oldest female holds the highest rank. She doesn't deal with the offspring, only spending time with them during feedings, while most of the time the offspring spend with the adult males. Nature has never repeated itself by creating duplicates. Every day we get more convinced that nature only moves forward, creating ever new species, including amazing creatures capable of surprising even the most experienced zoologist. If you enjoyed our video, give us a thumbs up, and we'll see you next time.